So Powder slash Jinx is heavily associated with animals. In episode 1, when she's a harmless kid with insecurities of being a nuisance, we see a mouse. A harmless nuisance of an animal. At this stage, we also see Bunny, also innocent, also cute. But in episode 3, we see Jinx's most iconic animal symbol in action, the monkey. I think initially going back to get Jinx, monkeys were about chaotic playfulness for Jinx. Monkeys like to play, they go wild, they cause mischief. And here we have a specifically demented monkey. And in Arcane, in Act 1, I think it's a lot more about the chaos, the ferality. And then by Act 2, it's more about the mischief, the chaotic fun. By the finale, Jinx has descended further beyond chaos. With this final act, it's no longer about having fun. Jinx has become an apex predator. We see the shark, one of nature's most dangerous killers. We have a few other animals too, I don't know what the chomper is specifically supposed to be, but this is also bringing to mind her predatory path. I think the hippo we see her drawing as a kid is really interesting. Everyone thinks hippos are cute, actually they're the most deadly large land mammal on earth. Maybe some quasi-intentional foreshadowing there. And then we also have the crows, which are a bad omen, death, transformation, I made three videos about this. Very cool system of symbols for this character.